Hi, good morning, evening, afternoon, what? Whatever time of day it is for you, I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you're coming from part one of this video, hi, welcome back, love to see you. We love friendly faces around here. And if you haven't watched part one yet, I'll link it right above in the icon. I don't know which side it is, cause I'm dumb, but it'll be up above somewhere. And you guys can click through and watch part one. If you guys wanna watch this part first, I'll have part one linked at the end of this video as well in the end cards, so you won't be missing out on anything. One quick little last thing before we get into the video. I am recording on the ZVE-10 right now. It has been a chunk of change since I recorded the video, the original video. And so I played around with it. I dabbled with it a little bit, watched more videos to get like the settings to my likings. And I am now currently recording in 4k 24p the rest of the video is in the factory settings of the camera so if you see a quality change that is why i believe the factory settings were like shd or something like that in 60p without further ado let's get started into part two of the zve 10 testing video that was bad that was cringe just just it's the next clip Welcome back, I'm back. I have set up the camera. When you set up the camera, you're gonna have to put in what language you speak. If you wanna be festive, you can pick any other language besides English. But I picked English because I wanna know what I'm clicking. The next step that you're gonna have to do is set up your date and time. Besides pairing this little buddy to the camera, I have not touched any of the settings. Everything's the same, even the beauty filter is on. I will go outside and show you guys what that looks like. This is what the camera looks like. I have it on the tripod. So when you record, uh, I have the, oh my god, that's gonna be hard for me uh, because I've been, I'm pretty good with focusing on the lens when talking, but this bitch has just been looking right here in the viewfinder. Here, let me just show you real quick. You have a little red dot right here. You can take that off um, in the menu setting if you don't want to see this because you also have a red square that goes around to let you know that you're recording. And if you get this little mount, you also have the ability to just hit movie or film from this little button right here. But also if you don't want to do that, you have this button right here, your dedicated film button. This is strictly, I mean, you can change in the settings again. This is strictly just for the photo button. This is the thing that I've been looking at, okay? This is, this is gonna be a problem. I need to look at you, baby blue. As you can see, it's pretty low. I can raise it up a little bit more, but now I'm at a worser angle. So I'm just gonna pimpling. I know it's not worser, but this is indoor lighting. I have my, yeah, don't, <laughs> don't worry about that. This is my uh, little tiny lighting that I've been using just for my makeup, but since I'm recording this video, that's what it's used for. At my window right here, which I could open up for natural lighting, but no, no, we ain't doing that. And then we have the incandescent light bulb up there. So this is what it looks like on an indoor setting. Um, let's move it around. Let's take you guys out and about my house. Do not look at anything. <laughs> The feel in the hand is not too heavy, it's not light either. So again, this is just straight out of the package, even the beauty filter is on, which I will be turning off in a second to see what it looks like. But this is what it looks like when you change. This is the movement, 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 Sierra. Jesus Christ. I don't know if it has the stabilization on or not because I can't see that directly on the viewfinder or anything like that. This is a darker area. Let's see. Obviously, if I turn more to the light, it's gonna catch my face a little bit more, but it's not too bad. Okay, let's get rocking and rolling and rolling and rocking. Fun fact, I already recorded this, but apparently I was recording in FPS slow-mo four times slower. I don't know what the fuck it was, but it's the S and Q mode. They can switch in between picture, camera mode, your filming mode, and then S and Q, which is slow or quick playback speed. So yeah, I gotta, re I gotta, I gotta, I gotta redo this again. So. Here we are. I mean, I guess this is good because I was rambling the other time. In the first clip, I did not have the dead cat on the mic, but now I do. So let's see how the sound quality is. I don't know if it's different or better. It's not too windy today either, so keep that in mind. I also have the beauty filter turned off. So how does my beautiful little face look? Here, I'll stay in the sun so you guys can see it. Does it look different? Is it the same? It's hot outside. There's a bunch of bees. It was actually pretty funny that the bees were just irritating me. I hated it. I don't like them. Ugh. This is why I don't go outside. I was gonna show what it looked like at night, but I am impatient. I wanna start playing with the camera, start looking at like the different settings so I can get it to my liking. I lied, this is a nighttime, as you can see. She dark. I have a light in front of me. It's just right there. 
good. I will go out further in a second. Also, since I am recording later in the day, I have realized that this is in fact in active stabilization mode. I will show you right now what the standard stabilization looks like and then I'll probably switch back to active since the rest of the video wasn't active. And then this is in standard stabilization. Um, as you can see, I have a wider background. I'm smaller, my head's smaller. I should use this one because I have a big ass head. I'm probably gonna use it like this from here on out, but the active stabilization was not as bad as I thought it was when I was looking at the videos because it really cut in, it jumped in a lot for those people without watch the reviews of. But it didn't look too bad. Maybe I have long arms, a long wingspan, if you will. But I will go out there, I'll do a handheld. I'm not gonna set you guys down. Also, there's no bees because it is nighttime. So that's great. We're back in active stabilization mode. There's a big ass moth, sorry. I do not like insects. <laughs> and this is what it looks like from a distance lighting situation. It's pretty good. Still tracking my face. Let me turn away from it. Still, nope, the recognition went away. There's no more square around my head, but you can still see me. It's picking up right here because I'm facing more of a light. But over here, there is no light. It's not too bad. And again, there's more light over there. But this will probably be like your average setting going in and out of darkness. You can still see me pretty well. Right here is definitely like no lighting. All right, back to daylight, Sierra. I will do a quick little rundown on the price point of this whole get up right now. So everything in total, including the SD card that we have not received yet, the, t the twin pack, it was a total of $995. Also the SD pack. Ah! <laughs> oh my God, see, it's the motherfucking bee. I don't know why I like the camera so much. Bro, get away from my camera. Okay, you're coming with me. And you're gonna be sad on the roof of my car. So, sorry about that. <laughs> so to go over it again, the price point for everything plus the SD card that we have not yet received is $995. The SD card was actually on sale too, so that price point went down a little bit, so that's why it's $995. The camera itself, since we got the kit lens, it is $798. And then if you don't want the kit lens on it, it is $698, so just $100. Oh my god, leave me alone. And then the Sony mount tripod gripper whatever you want to call it is $148 but since we got a little kit with the camera when we added on to our price point it brought it down to $98 also we ordered everything off of B&H I plan on using this when we go to Walt Disney World later this month I'm very excited for that and then we're also going to Hawaii later this year I also plan on using this camera to record so if you want to see more content using this camera in an everyday scenario less filmmakery I would tell you to subscribe to me because I am the person who is editing this video. <laughs> and there's another goddamn bee right here. <sighs> Please go away. Okay, we're just gonna go inside for the rest. Hopefully this isn't too bad of lighting in this area. Another, I don't know. I have no idea what the last clip entailed because it overheated. People do say to uh, put the internal temperature on high or whatever, but also they're not liable if your camera starts smoking. But I will be doing that because it cut out a little bit too quickly. What are you doing? What are you doing, sir? But I think this camera is a good camera if you want a slight upgrade between the ZV-1. The ZV-1 was really marketed towards if you don't want to use your phone for recording videos anymore, which is understandable. If you don't want to use your phone for videotaping anymore, I would recommend the ZV-1. If you do want to progress in your video filmmaking skills, I would recommend the ZV-E10, which this is being recorded on, because of the interchangeable lenses and also you can do way more internally on the menu screen. And now I'm getting a call. I am irritated. <laughs> Hello. Five minutes later. What was I saying? ZVE10, if you want to up your filmmaking game or just your quality and being able to make it the video more your own in the sense of like stylized and stuff like that, I would go with the ZVE10. It's better in the long run. I've seen plenty of videos of people taking it out and about for video purposes and picture purposes and they just switch out the lenses. So you get under a thousand dollar camera and they make fantastic content. <laughs> they make fantastic videos, they make fantastic pictures just from this little old camera itself. So I highly recommend it if you are expecting to step up in that sense. If you wanna stay 
if you want to stay down and get the ZV-1, I'm kidding, it's up to you. It's however your preferences are. The ZV-1 is a little bit more compact. It can fit in your pocket. Understandable. If you want that instead, go ahead and get it, baby boo. I'm not trying to yuck your yum. But I do enjoy the ZV-E-10. I gotta just work out the kinks of some of it. I also said that when I was trying to record by accidentally recording in slow motion, that one of the main issues with the ZV-E10 that people have, the stabilization. Hi, editing Sierra hopping in one last time. People also have an issue with the battery life. I've been playing around with it for almost a month now and the battery dies so quickly. I can charge it at 100% and I use it for like two hours. It's already dead, even with me turning it off in between. It dies so quickly. The stabilization is in the um, the lens itself and it tends to be pretty shaky even when you put it on the standard stabilization and then people don't like the active stabilization because it crops in too much. Now the solution for it is downloading Catalyst Browse. Just type in Catalyst Browse on Google. It'll be the first one. Click it. It's from Sony and then you can render your files through that and it should stabilize it tenfold. It'll make it better than what it was. Some people don't even have stabilization on and just run it through catalyst brows which i might do i do believe that is it i'm sorry i'm making that face i don't have anything else to say about this camera i'm gonna let it speak for itself when i take it out and about around town to disney world and stuff like that again if you like to see more content made with this camera just know i will be using this camera in this exact kit lens maybe in the future i'll start switching lenses maybe for b-roll if i start doing b-roll i will switch the lenses but for right now i'm just gonna strictly use this kit lens obviously make the settings to my liking so things might look different from here on so just know that thank you guys for for watching the video. I enjoyed making it for you guys. It was a fun little journey trying to work out the kinks of this camera. I still have a lot more kinks to ring out of this camera. I actually had no idea where this video was gonna go. Hopefully editing Sierra can figure out a nice little pathway for this video and it was enjoyable for you guys to watch. Thank you guys for watching. Again, I said that like three times already. Sorry, I am brain dead at this point. See you guys later. Mente cuacua, cuando se encuentran en dos gatos, miau, miau, para cantar bossa nova.